Hello and welcome back. This is the final week of CDS professional development course and um, this course has turned out to be a very big course where you have detail about CDS from all aspects. And in this final aspect, I would be covering the performance and how you have access to those tools or where are those tools where you can see the performance related metrics for your CDS. How to see your CDS view is optimally developed or designed, how to find out that and what are things which you should be avoid. So there are certain bit of computation optimization or query optimization which happens by default by SAP HANA. And uh, now everyone is aware that we are bringing the code which we write to the data because we have a lot of data. So it's optimal to do that instead of making the data go to the code. But when we perform the code to data operation or code push down in short form, what we also refer to this operation as, what are the things not to be done which avoids the optimization or which basically hinders the SAP HANA inbuilt optimization technique? How to really find those out? We will give you a glimpse and also some details show you one or two examples where some of the null propagation value or some of the SQLs which give you same result but are having certain time differences and uh, how you can avoid that if you're creating CDS. And also we will summarize this entire section in this particular week because this is going to be final week for the CDS course. I hope you enjoyed this entire course. Have a wonderful time. If you have any query related to this course, then you can ask me in the discuss forum and I will be happy to help you. So join me in this course and I will be hoping to see you in this course. My name is Ajay Naik and learn simple.